What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. It's another bourbon barrel aged beer. It's going to be from Brew Detroit. This is the Modern Morning. This is coming in at 12% ABV. Bourbon barrel aged maple espresso cold brew Detroit Imperial Coffee Style. That's a lot to say. I dig that. I think this is uh, used in Detroit City Distillery bourbon barrels for like nine months, if I remember correctly, on Untapped. Uh, didn't do too much other research. I think this beer was called something else once upon a time. I'm unaware of that name. I'm unaware of the beer, but obviously bourbon barrel age category. This was about five bucks for this can, and we're gonna dive into this one, guys. It is a little bit chilled still. It was in my car, but otherwise it's been inside for a couple hours, and it's eh, slightly, slightly chilled. So we got proper glassware, not from Brew Detroit, but Detroit. I love Detroit glassware. <laughs> Let's go to a pour. So. Not super thick or oily, looks like a brown ale or porter, but it is a lot darker in the glass. I'm seeing through that brown. But in the glass, quite jet black in a way, but a little brown tint underneath. But we have this nice dark beige head sitting on top. Not very creamy, just a slight bit of that. And it's sliding down the glass pretty nicely. Solid carbonation streaming to the top. And again, we're representing Detroit, my hometown. Let's go to an aroma. Yes, coffee, coffee, coffee. Char, roasted coffee. It smells like, it smells identical actually, hold on. Oh, I, oh, I love that. It smells like a Founders Espresso KBS, almost to a T. And I'm, I'm saying almost to a T. I just had one recently. This smells delicious. So much coffee espresso char, just, it's, it's deep, it's rich. It's got, again, a little bit of sweetness from that maple syrup. Oh, dude, that smells delicious. It smells, it smells like KBS in a way, in, in, more, in more ways than one, but that is really reminiscent of the espresso KBS. Wow, I love coffee. There's a great chance I'm gonna love this one. Let's dive in, guys. Cheers. Oh, baby. That's delicious, absolutely delicious. Liquid espresso just filled in this glass. That is rich and deep and complex. Espresso beans, it's awesome. I love that, I'm a coffee nerd. This tastes like fresh espresso, man, right out of the espresso machine. A little bit of rich, uh, rich milk chocolates underneath that, that espresso. Coming in with a nice sweetness complemented with that maple syrup, which is quite noticeable, honestly. But the char roasted bitterness from the espresso is a nice balancing agent compared to that uh, syrup. So it actually is very well balanced, yet still sweet in a way. But it finishes very nicely with that roast. And I, I, I am all about the roast, guys. And this has that quality. This is literally right up my alley in my wheelhouse. I love this. Um, wow, am I missing anything else? The, the bourbon, I guess, it's, it's light. Uh, it, it, it's got like almost like a, a rye barrel kind of feel to it, almost like that bitter kind of pepper serrano on the back end, but it's, it's not quite there. It almost tastes like Mexican milk chocolate in a way with a little bit of like serrano barrel on the back end, and that, that is usually rye to me, but it's not rye to my knowledge. I thought it was just normal bourbon, not the rye barrel. I don't know though. Because it's got that sweetness, again, this reminds me of like Mexican milk chocolate, a Mexican style stout. Um, but again, the roasty espresso is what's beautifully balancing this beer. And, and it's it's really the, the shining aspect of the beer is that espresso. But again, that maple syrup kind of thing, very awesome, very, very awesome. And I, and I guess they're calling this maple espresso. That's that's perfect, but they might as well call it espresso maple because the espresso's number one, the maple's number two. Um, but that sweet, sweetness does hit you on the front of the beer while the espresso hits you on the middle and the back. So nearly perfect. This is literally what I'm looking for in a uh, coffee stout, uh, espresso stout, however you want to say it. It has that nice little twist with the maple syrup. And again, this reminds me so much of KBS espresso. Uh, I, I can't even tell you guys how much it tastes like that, but I would say these are almost the same ABV. Maybe they are as a KBS 12%, the espresso. 
Very close. This almost has a little bit more body, yet this is a dash smoother, you know, if, if that makes sense. Maybe like more rich. Um, I love this. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Yeah, that barrel, ever so slight on the back end, it's got a nice kiss of a presence and it's just enough, again, to bring incredible balancing on this beer to counter that sweetness. I love this. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, four, four, five out of five. This is one of my favorites as of late, again, in that KBS espresso category, just fantastic. Um, I wouldn't want this aged really because I love the fresh coffee. Uh, this was, by the way, I never even told you guys, it's either 11.30.22 or 10.30. I can't tell. Uh, I'm going to say it's 11, so it's it's pretty fresh, guys. Uh, it's January 4th time recording, so I'm going to enjoy this one. Thanks for watching this review, guys. It's been another one. I'm Dan. It's Poor Michigan Review. See you on the next one. Cheers.